Today is National Cat Day. Some people think cats don't make great companions, but that's not true. They're not always willing to snuggle and they don't always miss you, but when they love you, you definitely know it. Today is meant to bring awareness to cats and kittens that are in shelters all over central Indiana waiting for their forever homes. And in light of the holiday, we wanted to highlight a local organization called Cats Haven. The nonprofit specializes in long-term care for elderly as well as special needs cats. And joining me live this morning, Susan Hobbs, a longtime volunteer and foster mom, along with Charles Robert. Or Charlie Bob. Charlie Bob. As he's known, yeah. And before we uh, came to start this segment, you were mm -hmm. explaining to me about Charlie and the condition that he has. Yes. Uh, Charlie is one of our cerebellar hypoplasia kitties. Okay. Uh, cerebellar hyperplasia, or CH as we call it, is a, a condition where the brain doesn't develop, the cerebellum doesn't develop quite right. So uh, that's the center that controls their balance. Right. And as you can see, he's kind of kind of wobbly, a little shaky, yeah. and they can be profoundly affected by this or mildly affected, but either way, they make great pets. Yeah. It's he's, just a balance he's issue. He's an adorable cat, cat. He's, oh yeah, and I see he's getting out of his harness there. He's got that rearranged quite nicely. <laughs> Cat's Haven has been around for a long time. Close to 30 years now, yes. And We're one of the uh, original no-kill shelters in Marion County. Talk so. about what the organization does and how it helps in the community. Um, Gosh, we take seniors and special needs. We don't take from the public, um, but we do take seniors and special needs kitties, and we provide care and uh, try and find them homes if we can. Otherwise, Cats Haven serves as a sanctuary where they can serve out the rest of their days in comfort and uh, respect. And we've got many who we've had for uh, several years. And many of your cats them. are not adoptable. True. This guy is. Okay. Yeah. I mean, again, he's a special needs guy, but not he doesn't require that much care you know unusual care aside from uh, normal cat stuff you mentioned in the past you know cats would go to vet and a vet and mm -hmm. have this condition they would be put down they would uh, up until maybe 15 20 years ago vets didn't fully understand this condition right and they felt that they didn't have a quality of life so mm -hmm. they would euthanize them but that's not the case now we know better so your organization relies on the help from the community and monetary donation. Why, that is so important. It is. It is. Uh, we can always use monetary donations or donations of litter, food, cleaning supplies, postage stamps. I right. mean, just everything it takes to run a shelter. If someone is not ready to adopt, what can they do? Well, uh, they can celebrate National Cat Day <laughs> by volunteering at a shelter. Uh, again, making a donation of uh, money or supplies, and basically just being good to animals. Yeah. Just, you know, respect them and love them. Cat or dog. Exactly. All right, Susan Hobbs, thank you so much, along with Charlie Bob. Yes. Yes, right. this is him. All right. Thank you again. <laughs> thank Appreciate you. it. And to learn more about Cats Haven and the cats you can actually adopt or sponsor, just head over to our website. It is fox59.com slash links.